Hi, this is Steve with Jetters Northwest. And what we're gonna do briefly today is show you an example of pressure drop and the difference in pressure drop between a couple different hose sizes. Now, what do I mean by pressure drop? Um, when you force a certain amount of flow, jetting flow, through a length of hose, it takes, amount of, it takes pressure to push that water through before you even get to the nozzle. Pressure drop would be, an example would be if we had a 4,000 PSI system and we're running 4,000, but at the nozzle we're only seeing 3,000. That would be 4,000 minus 3,000, a 1,000 PSI pressure drop. For this example, we're gonna compare a 5 16 inch hose versus a quarter inch hose. They're a 16th of an inch different. Um, we're gonna use the Eagle 300 trailer jetter. Uh, this trailer jetter is 4,000 PSI. It can be run at either up to 18 gallons a minute or up to nine gallons a minute, two different modes. For this example, we're gonna run the nine gallon a minute mode. Uh, first, what we have here is 300 feet of the 5 16 hose. Not the most common hose. Uh, it has a quarter inch threaded in. And, but in comparison to a common quarter inch hose, it's only a 16th an inch larger, but it's really 20% larger on the inside when you compare percentage versus percentage on a de decimal basis. So just by gaining a 16th of an inch, we've gained 20% of inner size capacity. So we're gonna run both these through the same Warthog nozzle, uh, which could yield up to about eight gallons a minute. And you're going to see both hoses running separately at 4,000 PSI at the machine. And we'll show you the difference in pressure at the nozzle. Okay, let's get jetty. Okay, here we are, well set up. We've got the quarter inch Warthog here. Uh, this is the highest flow model. Goes up to about eight gallons a minute. I'm just gonna stick it in our test pipe here. Down below here, we're going through, as I said, 300 feet of quarter inch hose. This will show the pressure coming into the hose. This gauge will show the pressure coming out of the hose, which is really nozzle pressure. And then we'll show you on the flow meter once we're running. We'll come on over here, get fired up. Again, we're running one engine for up to nine gallons a minute. Pressure has come up. Okay, we're all set up now with the 5 16 inch hose. Again, it's a 16th an inch larger. Same warthog nozzle, same exact nozzle. Going into the same test pipe. So coming up here, we're feeding, the 5 16 is built directly into the machine. So I'm just gonna fire it up. We'll watch the pressure build up to 4,000 PSI. So let's hope you enjoyed that short little illustration. Again, we had 300 feet of hose in both conditions, so it's a lot of hose. And just by gaining a 16th of an inch of difference there, we went from 2,100 PSI to 3,300 PSI, and we gained over a gallon a minute. All right, so I hope that helps as you guys are choosing hoses and choosing nozzles for your different cleaning applications. This is Steve with Jetters Northwest. Thanks for watching, and have a super day. Again, this is Steve Jones with Jetters Northwest. Thanks so much for watching today. Check out more of our videos on our YouTube site. Just search Jetters Northwest. And check out our website, jettersnorthwest.com. Thanks again, and happy jetting.